The time is now. Welcome to Dr. Slava's podcast. I'm so happy, my friends, that you're with me today. I have something special for you today. We're going to talk about five different types of entrepreneurs. Five. Now, you could categorize more than these five categories, but I grouped them into five. Five major categories of the type of people that I've seen from my experience, stages that I've seen that people go through to become an entrepreneur, and some fake entrepreneurs that are not really entrepreneurs. And you're going to get a glimpse into the big business world of entrepreneurship. It's really cool. So let's start off. The first entrepreneur that we're going to talk about is the skeptical one. This guy or girl decides that whatever success they see in somebody that's really making it, really doing it, somehow it was just given to them on a silver platter. That the stars aligned and that they got some sort of lucky break that they didn't. And that everything was just basically pure luck handed to them. This is probably the scariest type of entrepreneur because this skepticism not only ruins them and their ability to grow, but you start to eat at other people. You heard of the bad apple spoiling the rest of the bunch? The skeptical entrepreneur is the bad apple because when they get around other business people, their sourness ruins everybody else. So they actually detract from other people. They believe that it's not hard work and rolling up your sleeves, that everything is due to luck. So this skeptical entrepreneur needs to get a reality check. If you're a skeptical entrepreneur, guess what? You need a, you need a refresher. You need to recognize that it is not just pure luck. It is hard work. It's dedication, it's rolling up your sleeves, it's doing what you say you're going to do, it's having a big vision, a big plan, and guess what? Big action. We talk about this all the time. Action. Action cures fears. So any of you who know a skeptical entrepreneur, or if you are a skeptical entrepreneur, just understand, when you see somebody out there and they've made it, they made it, thank God, because they also worked hard, they're dedicated, and they applied themselves. Now we have the copycat entrepreneur. The copycat entrepreneur is very interesting. In one aspect, they're very smart. They see what works, and they really try to copy what somebody else has done. Now, It's brilliant in one end, in one aspect, because when you recognize as an entrepreneur what somebody is doing and they're doing it well, I actually recognize myself as a coach, as somebody who helps others. There's nothing wrong with modeling after somebody who's doing it really well. That's actually genius. That's actually intuitive. That's smart. That's perceptive. That's that's a lot of accolades that I truly would give this person. The problem is the true copycat is not modeling, they're copying. And what happens is they really copy almost everything about who they're trying to copy. That's dangerous and it's not cool, right? So when you're just taking something and you're trying to make it your own completely, where You didn't put your own spin, your own flavor, right? You just upset the whole brew. Copycats can be smart if you're doing it the right way. So model after successful people. Take pieces. Learn. Expand. But then bring it in deep down. Make it part of your soul. Bring it it part of your guts. And when you do that your personality, you shine, you come out, and you transcend where you were before. So you take the modeling experience, you take some of the good things, 
put your own spin on it, put your own flavor, and guess what? That's very successful. So if you're a copycat out there, and all you're doing is just taking exactly what somebody else is doing, and you're just slapping your label on it, it's wrong. So stop it. The third entrepreneur is the research entrepreneur. This person, this entrepreneur, they read. They, they go to all these self-help places. They have all these great people that they listen to. They, they plan, they're, they, they like, they thinking, they're plotting, they're, they're, they're doing all this stuff to learn. They research and research and research. And, and that's really impressive because it's really hard to put a lot of time into something. You know, most people don't put a lot of time in anything. And this person really dedicates themselves and their passion and their everything about them. And they really, really do a lot of learning. And that's good. And it sounds incredible, right? The only problem with the learner entrepreneur is they don't take action. They plan and they plan and they write and they plan and they talk and they plan and they plan and they plan and they plan. And, they plan. and guess what? They never succeed. Why? Because they never took action. So learning is power. Educating yourself is incredible. And, and that's what every entrepreneur that wants to grow and to be successful has to learn. But at some point, you have to take action. So read, plan, but part of your plan, the final step needs to be somewhere where you actually implement the plan. So there's a saying, I cannot remember what source it is, but an average plan that's put into action is 100% better than a great plan never executed. So what does that tell you? Let me repeat that. An average plan that's actually put into action is 100% better than a great plan never executed. So if you're a learner, great. If you like to research, fantastic. But put it into action. Because without action, you have a great plan that's never executed. And no one will ever know about it. The fourth entrepreneur is the determined entrepreneur. This is one of my favorites. I don't care if you're just starting out or you're a seasoned veteran in the business world. If you don't have grit, determination, and the willingness that it will succeed no matter what, you're not gonna get anywhere. So we often talk about, if anybody's heard me speak, vision, having a big vision, having big dreams is very important. We just talked about putting things into action. We talked about modeling and not just copying. All those things are very important. But you're gonna go through bumps and bruises. You're gonna have those walls up. You're gonna have speed bumps in the road. You have to find a way to tough it out, to stick to it, to stick to your guns, and keep moving forward. So the determined entrepreneur is one of my favorites. No matter what, this person will be successful. The simple fact that they will just not stop is, is a huge factor. Most entrepreneurs quit in a very short period of time when they hit their first, first problem. As soon as problems come, the average person, they quit. Why? The path of least resistance. Most people don't want to do what's difficult. They don't want to be uncomfortable. The determined entrepreneur gets uncomfortable. They roll up the sleeves and they just find a way to do it and do it and do it and do it some more. So if you're a determined entrepreneur, just know it's only a matter of time till you're successful. The last entrepreneur is the accomplished entrepreneur. 
this is what we all strive for. And the accomplished entrepreneur has many levels. It's not just a one size fits all. There's many, great, many gradations of an accomplished entrepreneur. This, this person has figured things out. They've gone through all the different stages. They've hit the speed bumps and they've gone through it. They've had probably the pitfalls, they've climbed out. They've recognized who they are. They recognize that they need to improve. They've mostly probably modeled great behavior. They've taken the steps of thinking big and taking action. They've made money, most likely have some sort of financial freedom, have some sort of control of their debt. The accomplished entrepreneur, again, has many, many levels to it. And this person is trying to grow and climb and get bigger and bigger. And they may be even doing things like many altruistic things, uh, charity and trying to think of things that are big. Some of these accomplished entrepreneurs actually want to go to another planet. Can you imagine that? What kind of nut job that's already made so much money and accomplished so many things decides that, hey, it's not good enough for me to do something on this planet. I want to go to another planet and be accomplished. Now that is an accomplished entrepreneur. Now, we might not all get to that. Uh, I have big dreams, but I'm not sure if I want a rocket at this point. But knowing Dr. Slava, who knows, right? Maybe I'll have a rocket one day, a space shuttle, and maybe, maybe a clinic on Mars. Why not? Why not have a few clinics on Mars to treat the aliens and um, the other people who need my help? But anyway, the accomplished entrepreneur has gone through so many stages, so many series, has figured out a lot of things. And they're probably an example to many, and probably people are looking at them as models. Whatever you decide to do, wherever you are on your journey of entrepreneurship, you have an ultimate goal. The accomplished entrepreneur still has goals, they update it, they get bigger and bigger, and they do more. I don't think there's a stop. I think there's so many levels of being an accomplished entrepreneur that there is actually no end game. You keep climbing and climbing, as God will allow you to, and you just keep going. Wherever you may be on your journey, whatever you may want to do, or maybe you don't know. Either way, if you want to talk, let's talk. We could talk about all of these different levels, see what you are, where you are, how you want to do things. But again, the ultimate goal is to be accomplished, to be a success. And we've talked about this previously, what is success? Hey, it has many definitions. Either way, you do you. Work hard, roll up your sleeves, take action. There are many things that we as people strive to achieve, and we strive to achieve greatness. Don't be simple, don't be plain, don't just copy things, model, work hard, accomplish, do things, talk to people, get a mentor, all these things are great. You don't want to just sit around. If you're a true entrepreneur, your end game is to be accomplished. And then, once you start accomplishing more and more and more and it snowballs into this big, gigantic thing, take it to another planet. Thank you, thank you, thank you.